Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. It's me, Dia. Hope you're doing great. Let's learn our internal body organ today. The first on our list is the heart. Our heart is actually a muscle at the center of our circulatory system, pumping blood around our body as our heart beats. Our heart is like a pump. It pumps blood all over our body. The blood provides our body with nutrients and the oxygen it needs. The right side of our heart receives blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs. The left side of the heart does the exact opposite. It receives blood from the lungs and pumps it out to the body. The second in our list is the kidneys. The kidneys filter the blood and removes out all of the waste from our blood. The kidneys send the waste onto the bladder in the form of urine. And uh, who likes urine? Nobody likes it. Third in our list is the liver. Our liver is the largest solid organ in our body. Our liver grows very big to its size of a football by the time we're grown up. The liver does many functions, but the three important functions are Number one, it cleans our blood. Secondly, it produces an important digestive liquid called bile. Third, it stores energy in the form of a sugar called glycogen. Our liver also helps us in making cholesterol that our body needs and helps in blood clotting to stop bleeding from our body. The fourth in our list is the stomach. The stomach is a stretchy organ attached to the end of our esophagus. Our stomach has to do three important jobs. Number one, it has to store the food that we eat. Number two, it has to break down the food that we eat into a liquidy mixture. Number three, finally, it has to slowly empty that liquidy mixture into the small intestine for further process. The fifth in our list is the lungs. The lungs help us to breathe in and out. The lungs bring oxygen into our body and send carbon dioxide out of our body. This exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide is called respiration. The sixth in our list is the brain. Our brain is the boss of our body. It controls everything that we do, even when we're asleep. The biggest part of our brain is the cerebrum. The cerebrum is the thinking part of the brain, and it controls our voluntary muscles. These muscles are the ones that move when we want them to. So, we need our cerebrum to kick a football. We also need our cerebrum to solve math problems, draw a picture, etc. Our memory lives in the cerebrum. Both short-term memory, which you had for breakfast yesterday, and the long-term memory, the name of the movie you watched two years ago. The cerebrum has two halves, one on either side of our head. Next is the cerebellum. The cerebellum is at the back of the brain, below the cerebrum. It's very small than the cerebrum, but it's a very important part of the brain and controls balance, movement, coordination, how your muscles work together. We need our cerebellum to stand upright, keep our balance, and move around. Along with a bicycle, we also need cerebellum to maintain balance. The seventh in our list is the intestine. The small intestine absorbs most of the nutrients from the food that we eat and drink and sends the waste to the large intestine. The large intestine absorbs water from waste and creates poop. Ew! And the rectum provides temporary storage for the poo poo. Thanks for watching, friends. See you again. By the way, I gotta walk with all this poop. <laughs>
Press the bell icon. The choice is yours. Yes, from play.